Daniel for your Oba Lamidi Adeyemi on Monday condemned the police due to the way they treated some cases involving some suspect criminals who are Fulani. Alafi in his statement accused the police of releasing some Fulani criminals who were arrested for kidnapping and handed over to the police. The monarch stated this when he received the Oluwo of Iwo Oba Abdul Rashid Akambi in his palace. Oba Adeyemi said, Nigeria is under a weak system. The system is no more working. Nigeria's system of government is failing, most especially on security. Security should not be under an exclusive legislative list. He said, I have attended several fora where security issues were discussed and when I challenged our state governors, security-wise, they are toothless. If the Inspector General of Police orders for the release of a suspect, no state governor can reverse such order. He said, we have put machinery in place and arrested many kidnappers who are full and ace. We handed them to the police, but many of them were later released. This calls for sober reflection. The Oluwo urged the Alafin to do everything to bring Yoruba Obas under one umbrella. The monarch also called on people agitating for the Odudua Republic to recall the federal legislatures in their zone, saying doing so would convince the people that they needed a new nation of their own. He said Nigerians, irrespective of ethnicity, would later appreciate it better if the country remained one. Oluwo said Nigeria was created by the sacrifices of our forefathers. They committed their lives to nurture the, body, the baby from infancy to this time. The baby has matured with an ailing soul. We all acknowledge there is a problem, but we must throw. But must we throw away a, a child with the bathwater? The child I brought to you is an emergency, emergency case. The child is in the intensive care unit. I implore you to take the lead, treat the child, and ensure his timely recuperation. You are an encyclopedia of Yoruba traditional rulers. The failure and disunity among Yoruba monarchs are disturbing, are disturbing. It has even given some Yoruba sons and daughters the opportunities to abuse their monarchs on social media. Unarguably, the state of the nation is fragile and very delicate. Dividing Nigeria at this critical time is a loss to the Yoruba land. We cannot go back to start afresh after years of sacrifices. Instead, we should concentrate such energy on ensuring Yoruba produce the next president that understands and can address our weakness and weaknesses. Of course, guys, you can understand uh, what uh, the problem of uh, Oluwo. Oluwo is talking about a uh, is talking about a uh, Tinubu presidency. That is what he's concerned about. If all of them are truthful in the first place, why must it be that uh, it is now for Yoruba person to not correct the abnormalities? If the Yoruba man who supported the northern, northern man to become the president, if he has all, all it is, and they are in the same party, they believe in one uh, in one party that they are, they, they are, they sh should be able to give him the advice that, oh, see, oh, we just have to continue. Even if you want to spend 100 years, we must do something. Give him that advice. So is he only about Yoruba? That is the problem we are talking about. So after the Yoruba man leaves the office now, you will come back to square one. Of course, you guys will not even be, you are not going to be affected because you are you are heavily paid. You get your allowances without delay. Even when workers cannot even get 30,000 30, naira, which is even minimum wage, you can't even take them to bus stop, let alone taking them home in the first place. When they when they are being owed by government, all those state gov governors, owing them six months, three months salary, they even cost some modulated uh, uh, <laughs> salary. That was what was obtainable. They were doing it in Osho State. I don't know whether they are still doing it. When Eric Bechala was there, they will give you half of your salary. You know, very, very nonsense things. And there was somebody will tell you, I've not been collecting salary. But you don't buy anything, your food, your whatever has been there. You don't just collect your salary. That was what the governor was telling us. Just to justify or to make sure, you know, to make it seem as if it's with the people himself. He's not collecting anything. But that being said, so Olu is interested in in uh, this man becoming president and that was why he went there and the Allah for you is saying something different he's begin he's able to nail the nail on the head that you know people have been saying this and we can see it you see that uh, very quickly now the Nigerian police the army 
they sent her back here there. The army, the policeman, to go and to go to the south east. Oh, they quickly arrested those people. They showcased their face. They began to tell them they, are, they were confessing. But what we see in the north is that they will tell you that they have repented, and they will begin to tell you that they have surrendered all their ammunition. They will not go after them. Lie, lie. They won't go after them. So the issue of uh, releasing all this uh, full and SMA, it is a it is a fact. At least if we have been hearing it, cho 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 from a uh, rumor mongers, uh, they call them mischief makers. But at least a first class uh, monarch is telling us what is obtaining that they have arrested them. He's confirming it. So this is not what uh, they say. They say they say. But as this man is saying, he said they will not. Nobody, even some of the Yoruba people, will not even want to talk about it. That is it. Why is it that they have not been released? Uh, why, are they, why have they been releasing them? Why have they been releasing them? But Oluwo is concerned about uh, how to get presidency. That is his problem. Uh, that is what his, his, concern, his concerns are. Well, this is not the time to feel bad. You know, somebody is addressing the Oba, um, a lot of you for you. Fulani will come for all Obas one by one. Stop criticizing Igbowo. Support him now. Don't mind the Oba who think the moderates have time for any sentiments. Very soon, their Oba position will become Emias. Oh, let them continue in their Atenuje foolishness. Alafi was telling Oluwo of uh, Iwo the true situation in the southwest. But Oluwo was talking about United Nigeria until they kidnap him or any members of his family before he understand the true situation of insecurity in the southwest. Though we have the we have some criminal elements among the Fulani Esme, just as we have in every other tribes in Nigeria. However, the truth is that ritual killings in the name of Yahoo is the major problem claiming the lives of innocent souls in the southwest. I'm saying the truth as a farmer, unlike those who are based in the cities and in their life, has never been to the farm, but responds to issues based on what they read on social media. Most of the noise about Fulani is political and propaganda, propaganda, propaganda as few of them that kidnap in some villages have some lazy youth who are indigenous conniving with them clandestine killings by a lazy used to be rich at all costs is a major problem kidnapping is better safe when they kidnap him for treatments okay all of those people who are involved bhtl has already agreed that uh, yes they have a uh, all those problems happening but it's been exaggerated but the ones that uh, you think that they uh, are involved in all this is have they been arrested have they been uh, prosecuted no that is not the issue <laughs> Nigerians, Nigerians, and lives of pret and life of princes and deceit everywhere. Here, the monarch Allah for you, you're telling the world that Fulani kidnappers arrested and taken to the police were released under questionable circumstances. It is only the fool will remain foolish and blind. Oluwo said Nigeria was created by the sacrifices of our forefathers. They committed their lives to nurture the baby from infancy to the time to this time. The baby has matured and ailing. Uh, with an alien soul, we act, all acknowledge there is a problem, but must we must we throw the baby away with the bathwater? Monarchs are women after all. This one does not know that a baby born grossly deformed cannot be any better than a wholesome baby. To so expect a country born with so much deformity to do any better is very unfortunate. Tell the monarch that you don't have to get lost where your things got lost. Nigeria cannot walk. So guys, let's say your opinion and let's know your thoughts on this. Thank you.